Hello everyone, this is Sean today. Just yesterday, Microsoft dropped off this box. This is the Acer Mixed Reality Immersive Headset. Now, I don't think this is actually the retail box. This is probably just Microsoft's box. There you have it. This is the Acer Mixed Reality Headset. Wow, so it's got this really nice uh, retro look to it. I really like this blue color. Now when you first look at it, it's kind of got this friendly robot type look to it. Now you can see this is tethered to the headset. So as of right now, my understanding is that all immersive headsets are tethered. So you need to be plugged into your desktop or laptop computer with an HDMI and USB 3 cable. So you can see here. So I'm going to show the Acer side by side with the HoloLens. So the HoloLens is slightly bigger and definitely a lot heavier. Uh, because it, it has a lot more hardware, batteries and all that kind of stuff that the Acer headset doesn't. This feels super light. It kind of feels almost like a cloud in your hand. It's really light compared to the HoloLens. So right away on the Acer, you'll notice the two cameras in the front. Now these are actually not cameras. As far as I'm aware, you cannot use these to see your world or take pictures. These two sensors or two cameras are only for kind of perceiving the environment and tracking the environment around you. Uh, now you can see here a really cool feature, which I'll show when it's on my head a little bit later, is you can actually pop this open so that you can see out and then when you're ready to go back into immersive mode, you just pop it right back, which is super cool. Really nice padding up here for comfort. Uh, you can also see the, uh, the strap right here. So let's go ahead and loosen this out. Uh, it's got this really nice padding. This padding is actually uh, just Velcro, so you can actually remove this padding as well. So you can see the lenses in here. These are uh, Fresnel lenses. And if you look carefully, there's that little sensor, and I suspect what that does is that detects whether it's on your face or not. Uh, if you think about it, it's fairly simple. There's no speakers on this. Uh, there's no microphones as far as I'm aware. Fairly simple device, but what this can do is amazing. And so we'll, we'll look at that next. So setting it up is super simple. All you have to do is make sure that your mixed reality portal software is installed on your Windows 10. I'm running a preview version of Windows 10. And then you just plug in your HDMI as well as your USB 3.0. So I just plugged it in. You can see that the mixed reality uh, portal opens up. All right, so the first thing I have to do is trace a boundary around where my area is. So you can see here, I've traced around the whole boundary and now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, accept my boundary. So now you can see I am actually in the mixed reality portal. So I can show you, I can kind of show you what it looks like through the uh, mixed reality headset. It's really not designed for camera lenses. It's designed for the human eye, but you can kind of get a feel for uh, what it looks like in here. You can see I've got a few things already set up. Uh, if you look carefully, you can see a little bit of the boundary. So you can see as I approach uh, where I set up my boundary, the, uh, the, the wall starts to appear. So let me go ahead and try this on so that you can see what this looks like. Uh, hopefully you can see a little bit of what I'm seeing. It's not going to be exactly the same, but close enough. So now I'm going to close the immersive mixed reality headset and bam, I am in mixed reality right now. So because I'm so used to using the HoloLens, I keep wanting to like tap and like bloom gesture and all that stuff. Uh, but you can't actually use your hands with this yet, although I really want to. I can't even see my hands in mixed reality. But I think uh, once, you, once we have those mixed reality controllers, they're supposed to be coming very soon. Uh, I think that'll solve most of that. Personally, I really like the sensation of being able to walk around in mixed reality and actually like just walk. So you can see here now, I am in this uh, special place. It looks really, really cool. Watch what happens when I press this button. Bam, wow, okay. I'll, the walls just opened up. You can see it's nighttime. Now, this is really awesome. So let me go back out here. Everything looks really amazing. So I'll, I can go here, stand right on the edge of this cliff right here. Whoa, so you can see as I approach the edge of the cliff, it almost, 
it almost makes me feel like I could actually like fall. And I must say the graphics are completely different this time. They looked a little cartoony last time. This time it looks really realistic, okay? That is just amazing, absolutely amazing. Now something I wanted to show, when you're wearing the headset, as soon as you put the headset on, you can see that the, on, the, on the screen it says uh, that we are now in mixed reality mode, which means that if I use my mouse, you can actually see my cursor goes along like the walls and the floor, and I can actually use my mouse to control. You can see I'm controlling this window here. I'm using it to control this thing. I can resize this uh, screen up here and make this bigger and smaller. But as soon as I open up my headset, all of a sudden that bar disappears, and now my mouse is actually not no longer in mixed reality. My mouse is now on the desktop, which is really cool. So it's really amazing. I love how you can like swap back and forth. And I think that's why it's called mixed reality. The way that it mixes together is phenomenal. They, Microsoft has, they've done a really good job with thinking about these little details that kind of make it all work. Now, speaking of desktop and swapping back and forth between something, there's something super cool I want to show you, okay? So, so let's do this really quick. All right, let's go down over this way. Okay, so I'm okay, so I'm approximately where my desk is. I see my chair over here, uh, and I see I have got a, a desk right over here in my space. I'm gonna put my desktop right here. Okay, so you can see here. I just put my desktop now. I've got this kind of infinity mirror display. Uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and use my mouse over here because I've got my mouse in mixed reality mode. I can minimize this. Whoa! So I can uh, open up my start menu. You can see here I've got uh, access to my folders, my documents. Now I can make my screen a little bit smaller if I wanted to or I can make my screen gigantic. Okay look at that. This is massive. Okay this is a massive screen. Okay. So what, I, I mean, I would never even in real life imagine that I could have a screen this big. But guess what, because of this device right here, because of this device, I now have this gigantic screen that fills up uh, just more than I could ever wish for, okay? So there you have it. This is the Acer Mixed Reality Headset. I have barely shown you anything. I haven't even shown you any real apps. So there's a ton going on with mixed reality right now. It's moving super quick. It's amazing. I can't wait to see uh, what's going to be coming out in the next few months. Not just the controllers and the other headsets, but what kind of applications uh, developers are going to make. So I do a ton of development for the HoloLens uh, and now a ton of development for mixed reality headsets. Uh, if you have an idea for an application, if you have a, an idea for something cool to make, uh, let me know. Let me know now down in the comments or feel free to reach out to me directly. And uh, that is the Acer Mixed Reality Headset. Thank you very much for watching.